I've got 10 o'clock, so we'll go ahead and and start with our public hearing. Uh, I do not need to call that to order because that's just a public hearing. It's not a meeting. So um, let me explain a little bit on the um, on what's being proposed as far as the budget is concerned. The budget. What we're what the court is proposing is that we reduce our taxes by one penny uh, for this coming year, our tax rate. Now, over the last, I think it's four years, five years, we have decreased our taxes six cents, and and really that's that's kind of unheard. Most entities will increase your taxes or keep it flat. We have lowered it because of additional. Uh, development that has happened in our county, uh, businesses that have come in, uh, the the green energy that's come in. So because of all that additional monies that have come into the county, we're able to lower our um, our tax rate. Uh, like I said, that's this year we're proposing lowering it uh, one penny. Uh, in the budget, the other thing that we have in there is a uh, I guess cost of living increase for our, our, our employees of the county. We have a 3% proposed, and that has a floor of 1,200 and a ceiling of 2,400. What does that mean is that any employee that makes uh, less than 40,000 will get $1,200. Uh, any employee that gets uh, the 3% would put them over 2,400 will get only 2400 And that's to keep the gap between salaries from getting too far out of whack. Uh, you know, I feel our employees deserve a lot more than 3%, but unfortunately that's what we can afford and also to give our taxpayers some relief uh, of the taxes that, that they paid. Uh, I don't know if there's any questions. This is a public hearing. Anyone can question, can comment, uh, can whatever you all have to say. Now, now would be the time. Or the court, the commissioners, if you all have anything to add or say, this would be, be the time. <clears throat> you know, there's, there's other changes in, in the budget, but that's really the bulk of it is the, our insurance went up. Uh, however, the court decided, the commissioners and myself decided that instead of passing that expense to the employee, the county will absorb uh, that increase because we don't want to take any more from your uh, purchasing power. Uh, so that will be taken in by the, by the uh, county. Uh, any questions, comments? I mean, don't be shy. If not, I've got 10.06, and we will uh, end our public hearing, and we'll start our regular commissioner's court meeting at 10.15. Okay, I've got uh, 10.15, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a regular commissioner's court meeting for County of Star. It is Monday, September 23rd. I'd like to welcome everyone and thank you all for being here. And at this time, I will ask you all to sign at your phones. Uh, and if you get a phone call, please step outside. Uh, if everyone will please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Public comments? There's none, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, item four is the vendors list. So. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? 
All in favor, please. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Next item is claims. Motion to approve. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, if it's okay with the court, I'm going to skip uh, the reports and move on to some uh, proclamations or, or I guess people the proclamations okay okay we'll, we'll move to item number nine and this is to approve a proclamation uh, designating October 6th through the 13th as National 4-H week in Stark County good morning, Good morning. Judge, commissioners. we have the Stark County 4-H Council and they are going to present the proclamation Good morning, Honorable Judge Good Vera, morning. and members of the Stark County Commissioner's Court. My name is Kaylin Ramon, and I am this year's president of the Stark County 4-H Council. We represent more than 300, um, more than 300 members of the Stark County 4-H program, which is an organ, which is one of the most organized youth programs in Stark County. Our forage program is supported through this Star County Commissioner's Court and managed by the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service in Star County. We are respectfully asking the court to support the National Forage Week Proclamation, which will be read by Star County Council members representing all of our forage clubs. Whereas the Star County Commissioner's Court is proud to honor the forage youth development program of the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service for 116 years of providing experience-based education to youngsters throughout the Lone Star State, including our program here in Star County. This admirable program, which seeks to provide a learning experience for all youth through their head, heart, hands, and health, help young Texans to acquire knowledge, develop life skills, and form attitudes to enable them to become self-directive productive and contributing members to our society. It is more than 550,000 urban, suburban, and rural youth participants, ranging in age from eight to 18, come from diver diverse ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds and truly represent a cross section of the state. Whereas the program undoubtedly could not have achieved the success that it has today, were it not for the service of more than 30,000 volunteers who have given generously of their time, talents, energies, and resources to the youth of Texas. Whereas throughout its proud history, the 4-H program has developed positive role models for countless Texans and through its innovative and inspiring programs continues to build character and to instill the values that have made our state strong. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Star County Commissioner's Court hereby designates October 6th through 12th, 2024 as National 4-H Week in Star County, Texas. And I commend uh, the Texas 4-H Youth Development Program of Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Services and the many men and women who made the program a success. We truly appreciate your support of our Star County 4-H Youth Program and the Texas A&M Agriculture Extension Program. We humbly ask you that you approve our National 4-H Week Proclamation. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Motion to approve, Young. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? Under discussion, I just want to congratulate all of you and, of course, your sponsors and your parents for uh, I guess guiding you into 4 H. It is a very good or organization and it teaches you leadership and responsibility. So we're real proud of y'all for being members of 4 H. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you very much. Can we have a The, the next uh, proclamation that we have is to approve a zero tolerance towards domestic violence proclamations. 
Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Uh, the, the proclamation we're requesting that the Commissioner's Court approve is designating October of 2024 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. We're all very keenly aware of domestic violence being a tragedy, not just in our community, but everywhere. And uh, the proclamation brings to bear attention to the month of October being focused on uh, not just uh, uh, domestic violence as a serious problem that it is, but also the fact that we acknowledge and appreciate our first responders and all organizations and individuals that intervene on behalf of victims of domestic violence and to help them uh, uh, remain safe and provide safety d during a time of serious need. This court is, is keenly aware of the problem as it, you know, the, ju judge, uh, judge Vera is, is the individual who gets uh, the great majority of uh, uh, domestic violence problems in, in the county. So we are very much aware that it is a problem and continues to be a problem, but we're very focused on addressing it and resolving it and, and having it uh, hopefully one day be a, be a part of the past. We ask that the proclamation be uh, approved. And we also want to point out, Judge very, uh, Commissioners, very briefly that we, we want to thank the Rio Grande uh, Gruya, uh, Rio Grande City Gruya Independent School District uh, uh, for uh, allowing us to, to host th this year's uh, vigil, uh, which is on October the 23rd at the Multipurpose Center. We want to thank the school board and the superintendent and the school district for, for allowing us to, to do that there this year. We very much appreciate it. And of course, all the commissioners and, and the judge, of course, and everyone is invited to attend on October the 23rd that evening. The vigil will be at the Multipurpose Center at the, at the, the school district campus. We ask that this be approved. Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? Yeah, under discussion, I just want to shed a little light on on domestic violence. And uh, Mr. Montalvo is 100% correct. Uh, we do have a problem in our community, and not only here, it's all over the country. Uh, but, you know, I want to thank the county attorney's office for your leadership. Uh, in leading uh, the fight against domestic violence uh, but this is a partnership everyone has to to participate you know if you all know of any any person that that is being uh, experiencing domestic violence uh, it's your obligation and responsibility to report that uh, so mr montalvo thank you for your leadership thank you, sir. Uh, i do have a motion a second all in favor please aye, aye. opposed motion carries thank you commissioners thank you um, are those the only two Cynthia anyone else that needs to come before the court if not we'll go ahead and follow our our agenda, next item is the gas department report. Honorable ju uh, judge and commissioners, good morning. Uh, before you, you should have uh, the gas report. And I'm reporting for July and August. And as you can see, uh, gas, de uh, gas department is, is doing fairly well. Uh, July, we had a revenue, and so did we in August. A surplus, I'm sorry. A surplus. Both months are, are okay. Any questions on the gas report? Just uh, one quick observation uh -huh. on the percent loss on, on gas. Uh-huh. Uh, it's creeping up some. Do yes. we know why that's? Uh, we s judge sometimes we have leaks, and those leaks are are monitored, and that those are some of the losses that we have. Okay. Well, because um, you know, and, and again, that's that's part of our profit. Okay. The leak. Yeah. Uh, True. Okay. Any other question? And. Uh, Next report this is, is the transfer station. Yes, and, and before uh, we end this report, Judge, uh, this week the auditor and I are going to get together to go over the numbers.
for both gas and uh, transfer station. I have a proposed uh, schedule or list of, of new rates to propose to you all for our next commissioner's court meeting. Okay. Next report is the transfer station. And for this past month, we have a deficit again of 26,386. And pretty much is because, again, uh, our rates need to be uh, increased. And that's the reason uh, Ms. Al Mrs. Alaniz uh, will have a meeting, we'll have a meeting this week to discuss uh, the correct numbers needed so that we can cover our, our losses. Any questions? Any questions? Thank you, Judge and Commissioners. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Gale. Thank you. Moving on, uh, I'd like to skip items seven and eight until we have an opportunity to discuss those in executive session, and then we will take action when we come out. Uh, following next item is uh, to approve. Well, take it back, take it back. Yeah, to approve resolution supporting participate in the South Texas Development Council and confirming the appointment of representative to the from Star County. Okay, and on that motion, does it does it also uh, in, include uh, to support and participate? I guess. In the, okay, I have a motion, a second. Uh, all in favor, please. Aye. aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Next item is uh, an action item is to approve the Texas Department of Ag Home Delivery Meal Program application for 2025. It's our application, our yearly application for home delivery. This is in conjunction with our nutrition program. Moved and second, discussion. All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 13 is an action item is to approve a uh, office lease agreement between County of Star and Garcenio Builders. Uh, and I'll uh, explain a little bit of what that is. Um, we have looked all around and uh, to find a, a place where we can move our courts, county court and district courts, while the uh, repair uh, at the courthouse or the reconstruction of the courthouse is taking place. We cannot have the courts where there's noise and hammering and all this other stuff. So uh, we were able to negotiate. Mr. Montalvo drafted a, an agreement uh, with uh, the owners of Garcenio Builders, and this is for the old Sarsky building. Uh, you know, we've had it for a while, and, and but you know, since it's taking longer than we had anticipated for the courthouse, uh, he says, well, you know, I need to get some money because we've had it for six, eight months. I don't know how long. So what we negotiated was that we would uh, pay him 50 cents a square foot until such time that we need to start construction. And at that point, it would go to a dollar a square foot, which is a market value going on, uh, here in town. Motion to approve your That's it. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 14 is an, uh, also an action item is to re renew the equipment lease agreement uh, for office copier. Uh, and this is in the auditor's office. Motion to approve. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 15 is a uh, financial policy that is required by the federal and state programs 
uh, Ms. Alanis went by my office and, and presented uh, something, you know, just to present to the court now. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things in there that, that need to be modified, but we needed to do this in order to, to qualify for the monies that we're getting. So this would be a, a living document. Uh, we and can amend it and change it as we yeah. want, as we go. Yeah, yeah, we can change this. Is it the first time we ever see? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we don't have one. I mean, uh, this is it the first time first ever. Time. Yeah. Okay. I second, Your Honor. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next item is to approve notice of election for the general election on November 5th. morning judge and commissioners um, the notice of election uh, for the general um, November 5th um, as seen before you um, early uh, early voting in Juanita Cantu gym Escobar's community center El Ceniso Park building and Star County Courthouse um, and then uh, for election day um, we have the 14 uh, locations that we're going to use for for election day to approve, yeah. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next item is to approve the early vote voting uh, workers uh, and election day workers and early voting ballot board. Yes, I provided the list for you. Um, on the first page, I have the list of uh, the presiding judge, alternate judge, and the clerk. Um, it's a general, so we use uh, both uh, uh, Democratic and Republican. Um, these are the, the candidates we have for early voting. The second page is the list of judges and alternates and clerks for election day. And on the last page, I have the judge, the alternate judge, and clerks um, for the ballot board slash central count. Second, yeah. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item 18 is an action item that is to approve bids for an extension of water line project in the rural area of La Pimienta Road. Yeah, we have uh, we, on, on the material, we have two, two bidders. I recommend that we have approved the lowest bid. It's B, B I, uh, it's a, a name of a material, Benito Cantu. And the other one is for construction. We have only one bidder, and that's uh, O V O A, construction. I do some move. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 19 is to approve a donation in the amount of $30 to the Star County Prison for Food Pantry. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve, Your Honor. Second. Second. Moved and second. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And items 20 through 42 are budget amendments. Is that nice? Second, yeah. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 43 and 44 are budget corrections. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. It is 1040 and pursuant to section 
551.074 and 551.072. We will go into executive session to discuss uh, order of salaries and to discuss a uh, payment for uh, building use by TRLA.